Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Midori here with a review and recap of Don Machi Season 4, Episode 15. In the beginning, we see Ryu is still dreaming of being around her familiar, and they are teasing her and joking with her. It's pretty funny, like, they all have their own different personalities, and they seem like a good bunch of people to be around. They're all preparing to go into the dungeon, and Ryu is remembering that is the day. That is the day that she lost her friends. Bell's on guard, and he sees a skull sheep. It's only one this time. He yells out to it that he's going to use his magic. He mentions that the monsters on the D floors are highly intelligent, so it may work. Which it did, the skull sheet backed away, and that was pretty much it for Bell and Ryu in this episode. Next up is Tsubaki and the group. They notice the water capital looks like a gaping hole, and Tsubaki says she never seen it like that before. They're all talking about the floor boss if it was defeated, and if the adventurers who fought it survived. Anya suggests that they scale down and try to find them, and everyone agreed. Tsubaki told them the worst case scenario is a few broken bones. Nah, I don't think they want that. Everyone is pretty much injured down there, and they're gonna need all the help that they can get. At first, when they were talking about the floor boss and the adventures, I thought they weren't going to search for them no more, but they do want to find Ryu and the others. The scene jumps to Bell's friends fighting these monsters, and they just keep on coming. We know they can't use up too much strength. Lily shoots an arrow at the leader, and they manage to get away. Once they get away, Daphne's talking to Lily and stuff, and she's trying to figure out how are they supposed to find Bell if they can't track him down if they don't know where to start. Aisha says that they have to move forward. They can't get to the 24th floor until the dungeon completes its repair cycle. Some of the monsters are jumping out of the water, and they're supposed to be on the 27th floor, and they're wondering, how did they even get there? That's probably because of the juggernaut. Once again, they gotta make a run for it, and there's even more monsters in front of them. When Wealth gets hit to the wall, he finds some material on the ground that's supposed to be from the lower floors. That will come into play later in next episode. While they're fighting, they hear somebody yelling. I think you can guess who it was. They get to him, and it's actually Boris. He tells them that the people that he was with got taken out. Aisha thinks that it was Gale Wind, but he tells her that it was a new species of monster that he hasn't seen before. He said they probably heard it roar when it popped in. Aisha knows what he's talking about, saying that was the sound of the dungeon setting some sort of monstrosity loose. We know this next question was going to get asked, and Lily asks Boris about Bell. He tells them that he got taken out. His arm was blown off and he got hit on the neck. At first I thought he was there when Bell came back, but then I remembered I guess he wasn't. Once he said that, everyone was shocked and Lily was upset. She said he was lying and he told her that Bell and Ryu was trying to protect him. Lily said that Bell's the only person in the world who can't abandon her. I feel sorry for her because she really cares about him a lot. From what I can remember in season one, she either owed people money or they made her carry out tasks for them and in a way he saved her from that. Eventually, they became friends and they worked together in a dungeon. After that, they make a run for it when the monsters pop up. Wealth uses a weapon that shoots out fire, but mentions if he uses it one more time, it'll shatter. They wound up at a dead end and Lily is examining the whole situation, where they're at, realizing that they have to get out of there quickly before any monsters show up, but she knows that the team is still hurt and exhausted, and it doesn't help that she is still saddened by the news about Belle. Aisha notices this and asks Boris to explain what happened in more details. He mentioned what he said earlier and that Ryu was healing him, but no magic could fix wounds like that. Lily ran over saying he doesn't know if Bell is completely gone and for all that they know he could still be alive and Boris said given everything that Bell's been through that it is possible and Wealth gives reassurance that Bell is probably okay. Aisha announces to everyone that they will go to the safety points on the lower floors and that they will find Bell. Of course, Boris didn't agree because of that monster that's still down there. That's when Aisha grabs him and tells him to remember what he said earlier. Gail Wynn was protecting him and also she believes Bell saved him a couple of times too. She wouldn't be wrong on that. She continued with, for Bell or for Gail Wynn, if he has any sense of gratitude, then man up. And you know he couldn't help but agree. Earlier, when Lily seen Aisha rally the group, she said to herself, as a commander, it would have been her job and that she needs to get stronger. I'm glad that she believes in herself and wants to get better at being a commander. Because she can do it, we've seen her have some doubts, but she bounces back and gets the job done. Welf starts thinking if only he had another magic sword. He wants to be able to help everyone out because it's only going to get more dangerous from here on out. We see a flashback of him talking to Hephaestus, my bad if I pronounce that name wrong, saying as long as he has a hammer, some metal, and a healthy flame, he can forge weapons anywhere. So you already know what that means. He makes a decision and asks everyone to trust him that he will be making some magic swords. Lily says he doesn't even have any tools or materials, but he tells her that he has some stuff in his bag and also some materials he found earlier. He tells them once he starts the forging process, he can't be moved. Boards again tried to object. Well fast everyone, do they have faith in him? Aisha asks him, can he really make them? And he tells her that he can. So after that, everyone agrees to help him out. Everyone gets ready and prepares for any monsters to show up. And that's where the episode ends. Next time, looks like we'll be seeing them fighting whatever comes their way. 
overall i thought it was a good episode i really been enjoying seeing the team together without bell not saying that i don't like them together but it's just cool seeing them all grow and get better in their own way you know like they don't have to rely on him to get stuff done they can do it themselves but y'all let me know in the comment section down below what did you think about the episode and what was your favorite part from it here's some more content to check out thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one